During the Cold War with the Soviet Union, the United States was under the constant threat of an all-out nuclear conflict. 13 Action News reporter David Schumann visited the National Atomic Testing Museum in Las Vegas today to see how those lessons can be applied today. This is a horrible crisis we're in right now, but it is a good learning experience, teaching tool. It's Michael Hall's job to teach. He teaches about nuclear testing and civil defense through the museum he directs on East Flamingo. He sees parallels between what's happening now and the Cold War in the 1960s. People are starting to think about that the way it was years ago when people built bomb shelters and they were worried about civil defense. Hall says there's been more foot traffic than usual here the last few days. Some museum goers we spoke to are old enough to remember the events of the exhibits and the threat of nuclear war. In the back of our mind, I suppose there was a, a heightened awareness of, of the fact that it could happen to us. Evelyn Harrigan says this North Korea threat feels much more intense. Hall understands the sentiment, but doesn't want to unnecessarily frighten people. Korea is kind of a whole different um, animal. I mean, it's a small nuclear power. It has become a nuclear power, but you're looking at one or two or maybe a dozen devices. That's a different scenario than we were at when I was growing up in the Cold War, where each side had thousands of nuclear weapons aimed at each other. Some baby boomers who lived through the Cold War say they wouldn't be surprised to see bunkers and shelters start popping up in Las Vegas. I should prepare better for an earthquake, but I haven't even done that very well either. The museum director told me he doesn't think that there's any danger of an attack on Las Vegas, but it's in Asia where the crisis is intensifying and where we should be turning our attentions. David Schumann, 13 Action News.